I love Vegas, man. Vegas is good and all that good stuff. No shit. Uh, hand wraps. Corners are one of our guys. I've got House, Scott, Rob, Tate, and Mike. Usually. Anyone. Anyone? Okay. They're yeah. all here for a reason. They're good at what they do. Yeah, yeah. For sure. We house, just... house is my favorite. Give me house. Okay, there you go. I'm not going to turn down a Forrest Griffin advice. There you go. Well, the other guys are all newer than me. House is just the old school. <laughs> the other guys all just started after I got out. Is it okay if I put you with Johnny Yannick now? Yeah, yeah. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Finally. <laughs> That's the very first I've heard of that. Yeah, it's an exciting fight. Like I've, um, I like fighting guys that, that come to fight as well. You know, he's not looking to stall. He's gonna. He's got a good pre, uh, good pace. Uh, he's an exciting guy. <laughs> For a hundred percent, uh, that's it's, it's a whole different ball game. Um, it used to just be my main focus. You know, you, you get to fight week, and all, all you're thinking about is the uh, the win and not the actual fight. Whereas now I'm getting here and uh, I'm just concentrated solely on the fight and, and the weight cut is secondary. Thanks, man. Catch you then. See ya. What a lift in yeah. <laughs> These gents are going to hook you up with some gear and get you going. All the fighters' clothes, the bags. Damn! <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, they change them, man. A little bit. They feel good. Cool. And then, uh, so the guys will. Hi, right, man. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. We'll see you. Thanks, man. Good time. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you know how many people have been filmed doing this? Rashad, everybody, <laughs> Randy, you name it. Oh. Now I'm just making sure you have a little bit of Australian color in you. New Zealand. New Zealand, sorry. That's <laughs> your kiwi, huh? Cool. How am I looking to finish the fight? Any way I can. Uh, if I can get a nice little choke, that'll be good, but I'm always looking for a knockout. I'm fighting Mark the Casey. Uh, this Sunday in New Zealand and Australia, I'm confident I can beat Mark. Um, I've been around the sport a long time and I've experienced, you know, the highs and lows of the sport, so I don't take anything for granted. Hey. Hey. Coaching is a very unthankful job, so you have to, you have to, you know, I've been working with Coach, uh, with Coach Eugene, maybe him as my head coach only, you know, two years, so we're only like just starting to see results from that, you know, you've got to put time, you got to put the, you got to put the hours into working with the coach. Jeb. Faint, shift, Jeb. Yeah, well, Israel's, you know, he's, I think everyone knows about Israel Adesanya, you know, he's uh, one of the best strikers in the world, 10 I know MMA, like he's going big places, oh, that kid's gonna, his head's big enough, he doesn't need it any bigger, <laughs> but uh, no, nah, he's going big places, man, oh, he's like, got all the tools, and I credit that to Eugene and his kind of work ethic and, and getting, getting Israel to the level that where he's at. He's ready for a hard fight, even he mentioned like, I'm going in there for a hard fight, and that's the mentality you kind of want to have as well, just getting ready for war, you know? Dan's very, very well-founded. 
And yeah, end of the first or early in the second, I'll see it. That's a wrap. Summoning Jutsu. Yeah. Just working on um, VO2 max. So just trying to max out his heart rate as hard as he can. He's gonna do that for two minutes and then he's gonna hit pads for two minutes. Just a one set combo, but as hard as he can. Ah! Your hands back to your face. Ah! Push through. Ah! Come on, ah! this is what it takes. Ah! Ah! Push. Ah! This is where you can slow down. You know, up from fatigue. You can slow down from fatigue. Ah! In training, you just can't in a fight. Ah! Turn the left hook now. Boom, boom. That's better. Ah! Pump it out. Fast as you can. Don't worry about fatigue. That's the goal. Make yourself as tired as you can. He just said, push yourself to fatigue and make fatigue your friend. Everything else should get worse apart from your mind. Your mind should be the only thing getting better. And I like it like that. So it just keeps me, keeps reminding me, you know, we need to get reminded. Should be phys physically getting worse, but men mentally getting stronger. If I get tired like that, no one man can do that to me. Like not, I can't think of anyone. You need an animal, like a proper gorilla. He might have a little bit of a hard time as well. Never get tired, come on, mentally. Mentally strong, don't worry about your body. Ah! Hey! Hey! Yeah, I, I put in the work, 100%. That's two months of a grind, like you've seen what Izzy went through. I've been doing that the last two months, seven days a week. Shift. Good. Shift again. I'm sick of the weight cut and impacting my technique and my skill. You know, that's, that's what I think I, uh, puts me above everyone else, is that I'm more technical than them. And then weight cut, and then and then taking taking that away from myself is just doing my my skills at the service. So I want to cut. I just want to walk in, not not fight, and and beat these guys with skill. I don't want to beat them because I'm bigger or anything like this. I want to beat them because I'm better and I'm more skillful. Again, he's at 70 kilos. Dan's a man. Yeah, at 66, he was half a man, but now he's a full man. I draw my confidence from, from training so hard and having done the work. A lot of guys get it from different places, Double. but I get mine in the gym. Uh, I get confident from, from just working so hard and knowing that I've turned over every stone. And if he beats me, he beats me because he's the better, you know, he had the better night and, and he earned the victory. Not because I, I anything on my side, like I'm gonna go in there, give it my all at, at 100%, uh, work my ass off and, and I'm just gonna fight harder and, and Fight smarter. Because all your wins are finishes and, and your losses are decisions. Is that a coincidence? I mean, are you going for the kill when you jump in there? Or? That's just uh, the nature of my game. Uh, I said I tried winning a decision once. I won a decision, and by the time I left the ring, I was over. To me, like winning a decision is not is not winning. Uh, finish. That's just my game. Like I've tried to avoid it and tried to, you know, now nah, you've got to fight a bit smarter. Not smarter, but fight. Change my game a bit. Just finishing, man, is just what I like to do. Thanks, man. Good luck. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. We came out from Dallas to see you, man. I believe it's, it's helpful for the fighters to have more than the 24 hours. I feel like 24 hours is not enough. You know, your brain is the last thing that uh, rehydrates. You know, your organs rehydrate, but, but your brain is the last thing to rehydrate. So it's good that you have that extra time so you're not taking more uh, risk with your health. That, that first sip of water once you weigh in, that's the best feeling in the world, to be honest. <laughs> But I feel good, ceremonial, uh, ceremonial weigh-in is this afternoon. Knock that out of the way, chill out, and I'm just, I'm just focused on the fight. 155 and a half. Five seconds, man, right here. Four. 
you know, all of this is just smoke and mirrors. My main focus to be here is, is the fight and the contest. So that's what I'm concentrated on and, and just focused on that. Uh, everything else is just secondary. Job done. What's happening, Vegas? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Thank you very much for coming out. The next fight takes place in the lightweight division. Dan Hooker versus Mark Jacasey. Official weight. So is this your warm up or have yeah, you started warming up? Warming up? Yeah, warming up. Cause fucking hell, this is... This is a fun warm up, man. Come on. <laughs> What's it again? What's it again? <laughs> <laughs> technique, let's see. Watch, watch, watch technique. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> I'm just showing you how it's done. I'm only showing you how it's done. I'm just showing you how it's done for real. It's just, it's just one, two, three, two as hard as you can. Turn everything. Get the weight. Even though it's happened like in the last week, all of the, or, you know, the signing and stuff, it's actually part of a much longer term plan that started like six years ago or something. They want them to debut in Perth, and we're happy to debut in Perth because. Perth's like our home backyard and it's not, it's accessible. Our, our friends, our family, our fan base can, can get to Perth. So it suited us to make the day born Perth. Ba, 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 ba. Yo. He'll be fighting uh, Australian, uh, a good, uh, good solid Australian fighter named Rob Wilkinson. Good record. Uh, don't take anyone lightly, so um, we'll be doing our homework and uh, yeah, Rob Wilkinson's a man, purse purse the date. Keep going, 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 keep going. Yo! It's, well, it's one goal that just got ticked off the list, so it's like, you know, I got a few more, a lot more actually. Hey, stay there, stay with it, stay with it. I've been around the world now, I've done some things, and no one really knows what we can do in our little corner of the world. Dan's gonna showcase some of that tomorrow on the night on uh, New Year's Eve, and I'll showcase some more uh, come February 11th. <laughs> yeah, that legs are heavy. That legs are heavy. I can kind of see about three ways this could go down and none of it involves me losing.